Is Crypto Blades dead? No, not in my opinion. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're talking about Crypto Blades announcement that changes. The skill that we are getting is so minimal now that play to earn element is barely there unless you, you've got perfect battles. And it begs the question, is this game done? And if you weren't here in the beginning, you don't know what it's like playing where you actually spend more gas fees on the game than you get back skill. And so you're, you're playing at a debt. So I'm used to being in this position. And some people might take the position of, I'm not going to play anymore. And that's fair enough. I think, you know, take a break if you don't have any BNB to put into those gas fees. Um, but personally, I'm going to still keep on playing because I'm going to keep trying to level up my character because I'm in it for the long run with this game. This game will have NFTs that can go into Crypto Blades Kingdom. It's one of the biggest projects on the Binance Smart Chain. It's not going to die. It just needs some time to recover from what was Let's face it, the money that we got from the, the the boom, you know, it pays off the gas fees that you'll be paying now if you were if you took advantage of that. So I personally am I'm not not scared of this 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 change. I think it's a necessary change, clearly. I trust the developers that they are they understand what they need to do to keep this game going in the long run and make it so that it's not, you know, completely, you know, earning absolutely nothing. And they have plans to be able to, to to get us back on our feet around things. Um, they were also this will allow the the economy to recover in that they will be able to you know build up the skill that they have in the reward pool. At the moment, it's probably very low, and you know they've got to have it increase so that they can give rewards for other things. So that when raids come, potentially yes, we'll get NFTs, but. You know, we want other things, other ways of getting income of skill. PvP will add that element. So there's there's a lot of lot of hope, I think, in the future based on the announcement that they put out. So the initial follow-on from, from the last time we, we spoke was that there was going to be an announcement of the skill shop. That has now come out and is looking really good. I have personally been to the skill shop and purchased a brand new shield. I didn't realize the founder shields were up for sale as low as they were. And so I paid three skill for a normal shield, got like a one star shield with which was terrible for three skill. Instantly regretted it as I saw that the fat people were saying founder skills. This one at 3.84 skill. This is an absolute bargain. These are bargains. These are cheaper than they were. And these are three stars. And remember, these can be leveled up to level five. So these these are going to be, you know, I think hold on to these for life if you've got one. So I'm good on that front. Um, it did set me back a fair amount of skill. But like I say, in it for the long run. I've been here before where you buy stuff and it doesn't seem like it's worth it much. But then it becomes worth a lot. We've also got the, the brand new changes which were a lot lower than I estimated in terms of price very low price of skill to be able to change your characters names and weapons name like they've put four times for a little discount and only point two to change your element type we see the supply there you know being I was very surprised that that's the supply has not gone down at all but then I realized founder shields are there and people will just be buying up those with their skill instead or People may have sold off their skill now. People may sell off the skill, be a bit afraid of, you know, this game dipping further. I don't ha hold any skill um, not anymore after buying those shields. So I'm not risking anything. All I'm spending is my gas fees. And my investment is leveling these up so that for future projects, they are high levels. And that will give me an advantage in the future. So the announcements, if you haven't seen them, um, Quaridge talked about the, the two-week pump and how that impacted on the economy. We went, they went from a, a, an influx of players from 5,000 to 500,000 in two weeks. So if you think about that, how many people were played to earn getting those daily profits? It's a lot of profit and it's got to come from somewhere. 
They shifted to a brand new service plan. Um, they built a new API ground up in the market. In a matter of days, when BSC, BSC nodes stopped returning their calls, so a lot of you know a lot of behind the scenes work has been going on. They fight optimizations. They've created a ten character law book, which will be the driving storyline for Crypto Blades and Crypto Blades Kingdoms. So this is what we're talking about future projects. Dozens of illustrations, uh, user interface designs, graphic designs for the most talented and passionate group of artists I've ever worked with. New skill shop that we've just seen. A documentary by one of the first community members, which highlights the, the, the impact that CryptoBlades has had on people's lives. Uh, bug fixes, of course. And on top of that, they've already launched the for weeks they had, as well as the core team, they've been working diligently on a raid system, which is incoming. Uh, which will be has been tested designed to support tens of thousands of entrants rewarding over a dozen brand new nfts consumables and rewards really interested to see how they work pvp system that gives more way to earn and enjoy your nfts complete rework of integral game systems such as the dust mass forging and mass burning and a brand new market design to support users and nfts from outside the crypto blades ecosystem all to change solutions to reduce gas costs and lower the barrier to entry to play uh, so why did they bring this up? Because the team has been working hard and clearly they're all committed. Um, but then we came onto the the next post, which was over the past few weeks. We've met with various teams to add our existing play to earn reward streams, which of course are limited to, to recruitment, forging and reforging and marketplace transactions. So these all happening, these are the only way that skill gets put back into the reward port. If people stop doing these, they don't have any, you know, there's no there's no reward port. This is why I think we've been seeing like, look, we've got reforging times three, reforging times two, which are the good short term fixes. But in the long term, you then reduce the value of the weapons, which means they sell for less in the marketplace because everybody has fully forged weapons. Um, so gas fees refunds to refund reward pools as uh, some they're working on um support from the core teams at avalanche polygon and hico to offer low gas alternatives to crypto blade players so balance smart chain are, are, are so low in fees compared to the ethereum chain but when you compare them to some of the newer chains they're pretty expensive you know i play on the uh, Cardia chain a lot and the fees on that are minimal we're talking like 0 0.0001 1 pence so if you imagine playing a game with that, it's a lot, lot cheaper in the long run. Media sponsorships and advertising, which in themselves would cover entirety of our current reward payouts and direct investments for expanding our CryptoBlades development, marketing and operations team, which as you saw in the few past few days, we've immediately taken action on. 15 financial and operational partners who we will announce next week who are participating in the seed fund for crypto based kingdoms which will drive significant revenue and player base into our ecosystem and there are all these are all near-term solutions that are actively executing and after the craze of the past two two and a half months we simply need time to finish executing them changes in progress are coming while we navigate it will do our best to open and transparent as possible without risking putting our foot in our mouth it's more than they could say we can't, there is more we can't say and there are things that I'm sure everyone will be asking when it's happening and while I can't answer I can tell you it's coming because we delivered before and we'll deliver again it's true they've, they've always delivered they've been probably one of the most open communities of developers in any game I've seen in blockchain gaming and yeah I am very 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 um, positive that this is not the end of the game. It is the end of the play to earn huge rewards that we've had. But we're going to see a little dip. And I think we'll be back. We'll be back. We will be back. Um, in other news, um, I saw that they somebody stole their code and has created a new game. Um, how did they mention it? Somebody's created a new game using their code. Blade Knights was created using the code. Apparently, they have blind, blind, Blade Knight deleted their entire website after under a week. And Crypto Blade Cones are the exact definition of a rug pull, you know, especially when they're illegally using our co code. Be safe. So, yeah, be careful. I didn't, I didn't go to Blade Knight. I didn't, I didn't hop on it because it was a ripoff. People saw a return of interest, I think, very quickly. 
you know, similar to, because a lot of money flushed into it, but a lot of money is flushed right back out of it. Um, so yeah, be, be wary of of these these things. Got folk warriors. We've got three tokens. Which one's the right one? You know, that's not the right one. It's ninety six percent. That's that's definitely not the right one. Hundred percent. Maybe this one's the right one. So no, I mean don't trust any of those. Just, just don't trust. Just don't trust anything that looks like a rip off. Be careful. Do your research. Um, so yeah, that's what we've we've got from the uh, the recent updates that they've told us about. Um, there's the documentary that you can watch via this link. The blades, the documentary, living the NFT dream. Yeah, they have. They are. We are gonna have some downtime where we're gonna reduce rewards for a bit, but. We'll be back for sure. Okay, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. The video always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon. Yeah.